Howdy, soldiers, and good day to everyone. Deadeye Dan here, a.k.a. Sergeant McFury. And I want to do a short video this morning. I haven't been turning out very many videos lately. Um, Breakpoint, it was sort of hard to make videos for Breakpoint in one sense. I did a few, but um, just couldn't get into the rhythm of trying to do videos for that one for some crazy reason. And then I picked up this on November the 4th for my birthday this year. And I have to tell you, Red Dead Redemption 2 is the game that you're going to want to get if you're looking to buy a game right now and you don't have anything to play. Or if you um, are on the fence about it, I would definitely pick this up. This game is so incredible in every sense of the word it puts all the other games to shame right now other than assassin's creed odyssey for level of detail interaction you know with your environment with npcs you know the amount of things you can do because assassin's creed odyssey is pretty pretty incredible it's, this game is over the top it's i just can't begin to describe it. So what I'm going to do is sort of take you around the camp a little bit here as I talk. So this is our second location that we've been in. You know, the, the map is quite large. It's, it's broken up into a, quite a few different areas. And if you looked at anybody else's videos that they have, you know, this is like a whole bayou swamp area. This is basically supposed to be like New Orleans, the St. Denise down here. It's the most modern city in the game with electric trolley cars and street lamps and, you know, fancy homes and all the docks and industry. And this whole swampy area here is really cool because it's got freaking gigantic alligators and that will eat you. And all these little things, these drawings, as you discover things, you draw them in your journal. And so they transcribe onto your map. You know, and then this is this whole snowy area is where the game actually starts is up here in this area where you're going to do your first chapter. And then you're going to end up in this area down over here at your first camp, which will be off of Horseshoe Overlook. And then in the course of the third chapter, you're going to end up down here where we're at right now along the river. Chapters are quite long. You know, they're broken up to a lot, a lot, a lot of events and things that are happening in each chapter there's six chapters plus the epilogue so seven chapters right so it's it's quite a long game in that sense and we haven't even scratched this area down here yet uh the whole new austin area and if you try to go down here you just get the shit shot out of you as soon as you get across the river so don't even try it because this is where the whole thing started originally is you had this big huge giant fight over here and now you want a dead or alive and that's why we sort of left and gone to these other territories. Okay? Good. Now, the fog's lifting because we're along the river right over here. So there's the camp. So as you progress in the game, what you do is you upgrade your camp. And the way you upgrade your camp is you come over here to Dutch. Right? He's our leader. Right? That's his tent. And you'll have like a journal over here. And then you'll have a box where you can donate either cash or donate items that you looted off of other people, right? So we can go to the ledger first. I'll show you this real quick here. And as you can see in your ledger, it shows like who's bringing in money, right? Like where the, all the money is coming from, from everybody, you know, who's donating the, mo the most and, you know, as far as like what they're donating. Does that make sense? Okay, now over here, what you can do is you can upgrade. You can start upgrading the medical wagon. So that way, every day you'll have all these tonics and toxins and, and potions made for you and your horse. Because unlike Breakpoint, you actually have to take care of yourself in this game. You know, that means you've got to constantly give yourself meds. You have to eat. You know, if you don't eat enough, you'll, you'll get fatigued fast like me because I'm too skinny in the damn game. I'm not eating enough. And if you eat too much, 
Um, you could be more resistant to damage, but you don't last as long either. So there's like a balance here, right? So in the course of playing this, you're gonna upgrade your camp. See, so you by upgrading all the different items here on your medical wagon. And then of course you have to restock it. So that's gonna cost you money out of your, your funds, okay? And as you can see, we have upgraded our ammunition considerably, right? As you do one, it'll allow you to do the next one. But again, this way I can just go over there when I need ammo instead of buying in town. You can do a horse station, what allows you to swap out the horses that you do own instead of having to go to a stable, because there's stables all over the map, right, in horse stations. And you get a chicken coop, so this way you've got more eggs, right? Leather working tools, so we can upgrade all of my equipment, right? And a boat, so we can go out and do our fishing, okay? So... You know, basically lodgings, upgraded my lodgings, Dutch's lodgings, Arthur's, right? The whole camp, you know. So it's really cool. So it depends on what you do, you know, will make your life better, right? Does that make sense? Okay, then you can also contribute. I mean, you can either contribute cash, right? Or you can give items, right? Because... In the course, like, I'm not going to give any bars of gold. That's, like, crazy. But that's the only thing I think I have right now. Oh, see, I could donate a watch if I wanted. What type of watch is this? That's a silver one. I want to keep it. Because if you have gold or silver pocket watches, you can actually equip one. And that way you can open it up until the time of day. All the time. See, so. And the pen was a gift. So right now I don't have anything to donate. So I'll give him some money instead. All right. And this will keep him pretty happy for a while here. You know, and like gold bars, you find those because there's treasure maps and gold bars are worth 500 bucks. So that's pretty cool. All right. We'll give him that money, and we're all happy, right? All right, we're rocking. Okay, so, and of course, you can interact with everybody, and you want to do that constantly. Hello, Miss O'Shea. Oh, hi, Arthur. What you thinking about? Nothing much. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it. Sorry, ain't much company right now. Now, one of the things I like about the game is this fact. You can play it in first person. What are you all up on me for? Calm down there, lady. So like all the Rockstar games, you can literally interact with everybody here. And here's my wagon. I told you you can upgrade your ammo, right? So you need ammo, you just come over here and take all your ammo before you leave, right? Which is cool. So I've upgraded all my ammunition stations. And then as you do stuff for other camp members, they'll leave gifts for you over here on the table. Like they'll constantly want to give, uh, you know, give you potions and hair pomades and whatever it is. Like the young kid Jack, I took him out fishing. And then I um, got a thimble for, for him, his mom. Lost her thimble, so in the course of me going out and doing my crap, I got a thimble for him. So now some things I can't pick up because I already have a full amount. All right, does that make sense? Okay. So, but I'm gonna shave. You can choose to shave. You can choose not to shave. Um, you do have to shave if you do shave, and you have to get your hair cut. You know, so it's all like part of the game. So me, I to keep myself. Now, I went out the other day, and I played for 10 hours on a live stream. And in the course of all the running around and all that stuff I did, it's like equal to about a month or so in the game. Because I never came back to the camp or did, you know. So I had this huge a beard. I mean, I had like a three-inch, four-inch long beard, a big, gigantic beard. So it's, it was sort of funny. But normally, I, sh I keep myself clean-shaven. And I got some pomade right now, but I'm, I'm getting ready to get my hair cut too. Because you can get your hair cut pretty, pretty high and tight if you want. So 
You can put pomade on if you want. If you don't put pomade on, then your hair looks all wacky. Right, you like that. Okay. So then you got your, this is your little, obviously your area here. Right. Then come over here and here's your wardrobe. So you can go through all your, see Jack's always leaving candy for me now. I'll show you why. He, he did a little picture with his cool. This is your like man bag, right? And with your man bag, you keep all your medicines in here, right? Recent things that you might have picked up, okay? Then you have all your provisions. The crafting in here is so freaking cool, man. It's like so easy to craft in this game. So you can craft, you know, you go around and pick up herbs and things, and you got all your food, and then you can craft up all your potions, right? And then in the course of hunting, because you can go out and hunt and stuff too, right? So you can skin animals, you get stuff from that. There's some herbs I got right now. I'm rocking all these. Violet snowdrop, some oregano, yarrow. So yeah, you'll know you'll you'll get used to what you need to pick up. And as you hunt, like I was in this cave yesterday, and these freaking bats were there. So I didn't even have to even hunt them. They were like whacking into the walls after a while, just dropping to the floor. So I picked them up, and they can be sold. And a lot of, you got to do all this crafting. So you need animal pelts, perfect animal pelts to craft all these different outfits for yourself. And it's really freaking cool, man. I mean, it's really, really, really cool. So, um, yeah, like I said, I haven't, I haven't figured out how to equip this pocket. Oh, here you go. Okay, so now I equipped that pocket watch. Because I didn't have a pocket watch equipped before. I'm even learning stuff. And then here's all your documents and stuff that you're going to get. Your cigarette. You collect all these cigarette cards, which are really cool. And if you know, it's like tobacco cards, cigarette cards from back in the day. You know, so you have all these cards that you get to collect. And then this dude, already get, you already met this guy at the train station. And he's got like a business card he gave you. And he wants to pick those up. So that's really cool. Then we have treasures that you go after in here. So yesterday I had a couple of these treasures yesterday which is really cool and stuff so um yeah so like i got this this one right here i've done some of the other ones so and this is like half of a treasure map right so now we got to figure out where the other half of the treasure map is to put it together right so we get the whole thing going on so it's like really cool You have all your treasure maps. You're going to find letters that you need to read to find clues to do stuff in the game. Um, several sets. You have your recipes. What's cool is you get these recipes, and what you have to do is you have to actually use it. When it says use it, that means like you have to open it up. See, when you open it up for the first time, that enables you to be able to do that from then on out. You can actually craft that potion. So it's more than just actually picking something up. You know, you have to do the whole interacting with it, which is really freaking cool. So I'm going to tell you how to do this incendiary buckshot. Shotgun shell, moonshine, how to prep it up. So we can go to camp and we can craft these things up. Any camp. We can even make our own camp. You can just, like, crouch down someplace and make a camp as long as it's in a clearing. And So like I said, the game is freaking awesome, man. It's freaking awesome. As you can probably tell from me, I'm trying to like tell you guys everything all at once. Okay, so uh, where's the where's my drawings at here? Hold on. Oh yeah, you got photographs because you got to go after all these different people, and it's, it's like really cool. Huh? And then you get books because people ask for books. Yeah, see here's uh, Jack's drawing. See, he drew this little picture after I gave him a thimble, and that's supposed to be me and Jack and his mom. She's in the camp here with him. Because you don't know who's Jack's real dad is, right? It's going to be either me or Dutch or, you know, there's somebody in the game, obviously. So, in the course of all that, like I was telling you, what happens is, um, that's why now he's always leaving me these chocolate bars, right? So he's always, which is cool because it, it builds up your health because you got to heal yourself in here. So you got your wardrobe with all your clothes. I was going to show you. So you got all your outfits here that you come with. So you can just whip through any of these outfits real quick. You know, and you can save up the three outfits on your horse because 
unlike other games, you actually have to have like a winter outfit, or if you go in the fucking snow in this game, you'll freeze to death like real fast. And then, of course, if you're down here in the plains, um, you know, then you want a semi-warm outfit because it gets cool in the evenings. And then when we go out to the sand, the uh, New Austin area, which is like the Sonora Desert, then you're going to want a light, lightweight outfit, right? So they have all these, and then, of course, you can go in there and customize, right? You have all, you have all these different hats that you can put on, so you can make your own custom outfit, right? With coats and hats and... So it's like really freaking cool and because the, the hats and I mean everything looks good you know what I mean they look really good they don't look like cheesy you know and they got vests you can get in here and you, you know you can wear some really cool vests if you want usually I was rocking that vest for a while so that one looks pretty good for just a black shirt and just walk around with no jacket on and oh yeah <sighs> so you can see I mean it gets pretty extensive right with all the clothes and stuff right Okay, and then, like I said, then you can interact with everybody in the camp, right? This dude, he wanted some pomade, but he wouldn't tell us what it was for. And obviously, it wasn't for his freaking hair, right? We already realized that. So he wants to pay five-finger fillet. That's where you put your hand on the table. It's called nimbly peg, right? You put your hand there, and then you stab a knife between your fingers back and forth real fast to see who sticks themselves. Yeah, we don't want to do that right now. So, but yeah, you can literally you know, interact with everybody. You did good, Valentine. Told you it'd be a good score. Yeah, we robbed the yep, bank. And you were right. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure, Morgan. Yeah, we robbed the bank in Valentine, man. Uh, him and uh, Karen and I and Uncle. So it was like pretty cool, man. And there was no more of you. And then you come back. And that's when I realized that fate is a vindictive bastard after all. Ah, uh, you love me, really. No. No, I don't. Come here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jesus alive! <laughs> that's Sean. You keep your dirty, horseshit eating hands off of me, or I'll stick a knife in you, boy. I love it when you talk nasty to me. <laughs> you got a real way with women. Please, get some action. <laughs> All right, this is our cook over here. He's constantly whining and complaining. So, cause got... why are you dressed as a sheriff? What? Oh, you know, I have a because I have a sheriff badge on. I don't want to get. I could sit here for hours, man, and tell you guys like all the shit behind. I mean, it's like this game rocks, man. That's all I can tell you. So you can go over here and you can craft, you can upgrade your items, and you can also donate to the camp, right? Because the hunting is over the freaking top in this game. Everything's over, it's like, it's, there's no way I'm going to make a little short video, so I'm going to start making a series of videos here to show you guys everything you can do, right? But I'm just sort of like going over the camp right now, really fast, and then I'll go over some of the game features here, and um, yeah, so you can either donate items. I haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. Oh, shut up, man. Ah, well. so I don't have any, I haven't gone out hunting for the most part, so... That's why I don't have anything. Oh, hold on. Gonna, Many thanks. I gave him whatever the hell I just gave him. I'm not giving you no gold teeth. Oh, God damn it! Did I just give my gold teeth? Shit. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Yeah, so you can sell crap to him. You can give them supply. Oh, not that. Like food, if you want to bring food back, because there's all the canned goods and coffee, and you can get. I mean, it's like crazy, it's just like crazy. See, I can't give him any of these right now. All right, and he can also thanks, upgrade Mr. all your Morgan. equipment for you. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Right. See, so you get a better satchel. See, and what it does is you bring these and. You can upgrade your satchel, hey, yo, increase the carrying capacity for all types of provisions in the store brought to you. meals. No, See, that's a material I one. All Valuable right, well, satchel. You take it easy. Expands yeah, the carrying capacity for all items. And it looks pretty cool, too. You get that real so, cool looking look. So, I mean, to do we'll that, win. like I said, you craft all the other ones first. This one, you gotta have you a deer pelt, today? beaver pelt, rabbit oh, no, pelt. You, perfect. Sir. That means perfect. That's like a headshot. You know, with a, a Remember, good weapon, or a bow like and arrow, or, yeah. Damn. 
So, you got all that crap you can do. You can upgrade the camp and all that, right? Good material. You got all that going on. And then you got to take care of all yourself. You, and then you got to take care of your horse. Like I said, you can interact with everybody in the freaking camp. So, you just walk around here and chit chat with people and find out what the hell's going on. Have a seat and a swig, Arthur. But the horses. Wait a minute. Come on back here. Well, come on back here, you hear? There's, I mean, there's so much shit going on. He's like, I don't know what he's yelling at the horses or something right now. I have no idea what's going on. All right, so here's my horse over here. So when you get on your horse, that's your horse carries all your crap too, like all your clothes and your extra gear. And all you're gonna get. Come on. There's always something going on here, man. People are always yelling at each other all the time. So here's all the crap that you can carry on your horse. You know, besides, you know, what's, you know, so you can see you carry, I carry a lot more food and all that stuff on my horse for me and the horse, right? Because we both eat a lot of these items here. So, you can actually carry more than you can carry on you. All right. And there's lots of horses in the game. I'll show you that here in a second. You know, so you got to interact with your horse. And then once you're on your horse, you can't you can't mess with your weapons here. Here's your items. So you can, like, see you have these little health. Here's your health, and this is your energy, and this is your dead eye. Your dead eye is, like, your ability to track animals and sort of go into slow-mo mode when you're going to shoot people and target people and crap. So it's really cool. So you got to constantly do remedies, right, to get these things back up to max. And then see how that one's red in the middle. So to get that up, you want to come and eat food. Right, and then that's gonna slight restore health core and moderately restore stamina core because my stamina is like shot right now. Make sense? Then you have different ones. This one will do all three of your cores at once, which is that outside circle. See, and then the inside one, you still have to go back in and eat food. That's why eating, it's, I mean, it's like a real game in that sense that if you want to have all that immersion. Because Breakpoint didn't give us any of this crap at all. You know what I mean? This is what we thought Breakpoint was going to have. Yeah, you can drink alcohol and it'll actually do stuff, you know, to like heal you. But you can't drink too much because you get drunk and then you'll be all left up and pass out. Right? So normally you can just you can eat food. You can go to camp and eat stew. We got a stew pot over there because I think the stew's on. So you can't ride your horse in camp though. Alright? So gotta go outside of camp to do that and we have a horse station right over here you can open up and the four horses that you do get you can swap between them real fast here because you know different horses are do different things for the most part but once you get outside of camp then you can start messing with all your weapons if you notice i don't have any ammo and all that on right now but yeah you get outside of camp and actually i should have picked up shotgun shells and all that before i left <laughs> Yeah, see, now you can get in here and mess with all your weapons. You got all your pistols, right? And you can equip up to two, a primary and a secondary rifle, I would guess you would call them, right? And lots of different guns in the game. It's, like, really cool. You know, really good sniper rifle. There's a sniper rifle there. You can switch between your rope, and you have things like dynamite, right? And your Molotov cocktails, Right, and throwing knives and throwing axes. Right, and here's all your melee weapons. Right, got a knife, got a lantern we can see at night with or whack people with. Got a hatchet, got an old pirate sword I got yesterday with our pirate thing. Got a machete, right, or just your fist. You can go single pistol, you can go double pistol. The cool thing is, is you have to maintain this. You know, you can go to the, the store and you can custom carve them and engrave them and all that, right? And if they need to be clean, you can come in here and clean them, right? So, but yeah, the cool thing is, is um, yeah, so you got to take care of all of them and stuff. So, you know, so it's actually it's pretty cool. Everything's really, really accurate in the game as far as that goes. You know, so everything. You got to maintain weapons. You got to maintain you. Got to maintain your horse. And then you come over here, your little wheel, and you can pull up your horse items. Seeing the same things. Your horse has its energy and cores and all that, right? So it's the same principle. You got to give your yeah, horse meds. Got to give your horse food. Point. So it's really cool. You can't just like I'll go all willy nilly and 
you know, obviously you have to ride a horse like a real horse. You can't be like jumping off a cliff and jumping all stupid or you're going to fuck up your horse real fast and he's going to die and you're going to die and you don't want that, right? All right. So, next area real quick here. I'm trying to make this real short, but I want to try to cover everything. Okay, let's get into what's going on in the whole game itself. Okay, you have the whole main story, right? We've already done chapter one. And you can see, you know, there's all these. You can go back and replay these again if you want to do any other missions. You know, chapter two was pretty extensive. Chapter two had quite a bit going on in it, right? All this stuff, plus all the side things that are going on. These are like the main ones, right? Now we're in chapter three right now, so we're working our way through here, right? I told you there's six chapters plus the epilogue, okay? Then you got your compendium. Your compendium is all the things in the game. This game has 178 animal species in it. It's got more animals than any other freaking game you guys are ever going to play. And you got to go identify all of them. A lot of them you got to hunt. You can hunt all of them, but you got to hunt certain ones. Yeah, this is 12 pages of animals right here. I mean, there's several species of frogs, cats, chickens, you know, foxes, uh, crabs, dogs, you know, ducks, donkey. I mean, you know, it just goes on and on and on and on, man. Just with all the different species that you're going to run across in the game, right? For animals. Then your equipment. There's 79 pieces of equipment that you can have in the game, right? So that's pretty cool. Right? Lots of different types of equipment. This is all fishing, some fishing things, right? And there's uh, talismans that you make that help you. Like They're like perks, like weapon mods and perks, things like that. And those are discovered items or un undiscovered equipment. See, this is, as you discover these things, they'll, they'll come up here. So, and these are on your gun belt, stuff you can have. So... Okay, then you get into fish, man. 30 species of fish that you can go out and catch. Yeah, we have a fishing pole, and you can actually have lures and bait and all that. So you got 30 species of fish that you're going to end up catching in this game or that you can catch. All right, gangs. There's six different gangs. Found three of them so far. I think the other three are down in... Um, um, down south. That's why we haven't found them yet. Uh, plants. 43 types of plants, right? Of course, you'll use all these different types of plants to craft up all your items or eat. They're all herbs, you know, and berries and mushrooms. And so, you know, they're all they're all edible, you know. And it gives you a description on each one. It'll give you the actual Latin name, tells you what it looks like, where it can be found, what, it, what, can, what it'll do to you, um, you know, what you can use it for. It's like freaking crazy, man. Horses, 19 different varieties of horses in this game. You know, so the horses go on and on and on and on with all the different horses that you can get. And it'll tell you what they're good for. And it, it's it's just amazing. It's, they, rock stars, like, went over the top. Weapons, yeah, 63 different types of weapons. I didn't know they had 63 weapons in the West, but apparently lots and lots of revolvers. That's a whole page of revolvers. So you can see I've only found three, right, out of 15. And lots of these I'm doing pretty damn good on. I have got eight of those, right? Lots of hand and melee weapons. Lots of knives. Apparently there's like a crap load of knives and hatchets, right? Then all your cigarette cards. Remember I told you there's all these different cigarette cards that you can get, right? These are all the old coming cigarette packs, you know, back in the day to get people to buy the cigarette pack. So you have all those to collect, okay? So you have all that stuff that you're doing, okay? Then you have all your challenges, right? Because you have bandit challenge, explorer challenge, gambler challenge, herbalist challenge, horseman, master hunter, sharpshooter, survivalist, and weapon expert. Right? So you can go through these and do each one of these. Right now I'm working on hold up five town folks. Right? So we're going to go. So one day I'm going to do a video and we'll go through, you know, doing all the different ones, unlocking each one of these. Right? 
So you have all those that you can go to. Explore, I'm doing pretty good. I'm a pretty good explorer. So I'm, I'm up here now. And I got to find another. These are just treasures. As you find the treasures, you, know, you get to explore pretty much. And obviously, herbalist, I'm not doing a lot at right now. Horseman, I'm at three. So, which is cool. Yeah, this one, I have to go lasso somebody and drag them for three quarters of a mile on the road. Without killing them, no. You, just, you have to keep them alive while you're dragging them, which is a little bit of a challenge in this game because they have a tendency to die after about a quarter of a mile of dragging their ass. So, and then you got Master Hunter, which is, you know, going after, like, I just skinned three deer. Now I have to collect three perfect uh, rabbit pelts, right? So you need a vermin rifle for that so you can shoot the rabbits real easy and go get their pelts. So, lots and lots and lots. The main, just to do the story and all that stuff will take you a long time. I mean, you'll get 100 hours just in the story. Okay, and then between doing all the other things and the challenges. And, yeah, this tells you basically how many missions, strangers, bounties, chance encounters I've completed, bushwhack I've done, points of interest. You know, so it goes to, oh, yeah, I'll tell you all about the collectibles and all that stuff here in a second. Okay, so you got all that stuff. Then you're going to come over here. And here's your log. Here are all the tasks. You met this paleontologist lady, and now you got she wants you to find bones and then go have them shipped to her, right, at any post office. So apparently there's 30 bones. I haven't found any of those yet, right? And then there's some wildlife exhibits going on. I need some perfect pelts for that. And then you got your cigarette cards and your treasure hunter. And then you met this geologist guy. And he wants you to look for rock carvings. And you got people in the camp that are asking for stuff all the time. Harmonica, ginseng, fountain pen. And there's these dream catchers. There's, you know, those little things that hang up there, right? Those things. So when you find all of those, then there's a whole side mission for that. that you get like seven bars of gold. And again, a bar of gold is five thousand is five hundred dollars. So that's thirty five hundred dollars. And then, um, yeah, you're doing like there's so much crap that you're doing. <sighs> so, anyways, right now. That's all the crazy crap that's going on right now, I'm going to tell you. I'll have more later on, but yeah, there's so there's so much to do in this game. It's like insane. There's over 200 secrets and locations and treasures and things of five. There's over 50 Easter eggs. You can go to this one cabin at nighttime with all these people that, you know, those um, Heaven's Gate people that killed themselves and all that stuff because they thought that they were going to go. You thought they were going to go in the asteroid or something like that. So, and there's a spaceship because uh, Rockstar always has spaceships. So anyways, like I said, there's a lot to do, lots to see. It's, it's, it's like insane, man. So you definitely want to buy a good game. Get this. Don't worry about Breakpoint because it won't be ready till next year. Right? Graphics are over the top in this game. Everything's just insane. I mean... You know, it's just incredible. Rockstar did a really, really good job. So you won't go wrong getting this game, I guarantee you. And that's only the single player. We haven't even started on the online. And the online is more than just running around and cheating people. The online has a complete story. And you have, you know, people that you have to go after. And, I mean, it's like, a, you know, there's a, but you get to do with other players. Yeah, and occasionally you might shoot some other people. But, you know, it has all its own challenges. And so, yeah, the fog's moving in right now. Because, like I said, well, we're... So oh, there's a rainbow. Another rainbow. Make it. Yeah, the fog's moving in because we're obviously camped along the uh, water here. Down by the bayou. But if you go farther inland, then you'll get out of the fog. It'll dissipate. Yeah. This is what happens when you're down in the bayou. But, yeah, there's so much to see. So much to do, it's freaking insane, man. Let me get over here out of the fog. Great place for a camp, though. <laughs> Semi hid. But once you start getting away from the water. Oh, and the weather is over the top here, too. That crazy weather. And. But 
it looks like it's gonna like there's cloud up. It might be raining today. So the game will get like this, the weather changes constantly. You know, lots of towns, lots of things to do, lots of people, cons I mean just you can greet everybody on the roads. Lots of people you gotta greet because if you don't greet them, it won't go into some side mission or some weird encounter or you know, so you gotta really, really greet a lot of people. Like I said, the game is so much fun to play. Okay, see, here we go. We got some shit happening right here. This guy's robbing the train. Okay, let's get the... No, let's get, get your... Let's get the robbers. Shot my frickin' hat off, god damn it. Keep your hat, bro. Alright, we're rocking. Right. Oh yeah, we get to loot them, man, after we kill them. Oh hell yeah, that's the best part, man. You kidding? Alright. Yeah, so see, they were robbing the train, so. Now what's cool is you can actually go and see if there's anything on the train that they didn't steal. Now technically you can still get in trouble for looting these guys. Yeah, even though you did a good deed. Oh no, we don't want to pick this guy up. No, no, no. Just loot him Even though we did a good deed, you can still get in trouble. Does that make sense? this guy down loot his ass. Get down, get down. No, you're not going to drive the wagon yet. Loot him. Oh, so this is sort of, sort of cool. You guys got to see this at the end of the video here. Yeah, man, I, I picked up this sniper rifle. The only we you had to do is we went and rustled some sheep. So you didn't have to kill the three guys with the sheep. All you had to do is uh, go scare them, right? And you got to keep this rifle because it's locked in the store, so you can't get it, right? But you just go scare these three guys off to shoot it by their horse's feet, which I did. And... Um, once I did that... That was, that was a conductor, so I shouldn't have done that, but that's cool. All right, let's go on the train and see what's happening. See, there's somebody coming right now. Hopefully, they're not going to go all freaky-deaky on me and think I robbed a train. Well, I don't have my mask on, so you can put a mask on, and then people won't see you, and then you can go rob stuff, and you won't get busted, which is normally what, what you do. This is a small train, so there wasn't a lot to rob on this one. The trains are big here, too. You got big trains. But again, these are just like a little side story thing that happens. So, where's my horse? Let me go check this. So, take advantage of it. Kill the bad guys, and if there's anything in here that you can see, I don't need repeater cartridges. But there might, you know, you gotta look around. That's what it's all about. Oh yeah, so we'll take those regular cartridges. Oh yeah. Those. Anything else? Nope. How about over in the desk? Nope. How about the next one? Nope. Don't need brandy. Oh, hold on. This will ammo. We'll take that. And we'll take some veggies. Alright, calm down. 
And let's go see what's happening inside this one. Looks like they. Oh, no, no, they're done. Looks like they. They already raided this pretty good, but. Then I'll stop this video. I know this video is like, a, oh, there you go. Hold on. There's a coin purse right there. A coin. Somebody dropped something. I think that's 25 cents. I'm not proud. 25 cents, a lot of money back then, man. Oh, yeah, they looted this train pretty good. See? Oh, hold on. Oh, they missed the strong box. Damn it. Oh, they didn't. Shit. Alright, so. Well, there you go. Looted the train. Looted all these guys. You can actually take them and throw them on the wagon. You know, you can, like, pile them all up in the wagon if you wanted. And set the wagon on fire. I keep my little lanterns right there, but you gotta let the horses go first. Yeah, so random shit like this happens, man. You'll just be chilling and going along and doing your thing, and bam, next thing you know. Shit happens. Oh, yeah, but this is a cool thing. You ready? doesn't want to fucking drive a fucking train in a video game. Seriously, guys. I mean, and the photo mode is over the top. Man. They got a really cool photo mode. Now, people won't get on this train because it was just like a little scenario that happened. But this is the town of Rhodes. Right here, so, right. The game is over the top. That's all I can tell you guys. It's over the top. game is so freaking cool. Lock, oh, no, come on, get get, get, there we go. My horse follows the whole time. So he'll be right here. So this, yeah, this is Rhodes, this little town that we ended up getting our badges at. I don't want to get into all that. That'd be a time for another time, another story, man. But everything in this game is incredible, man. From the weather to the interaction with everybody the level of detail is phenomenal man rockstar has just hit this one out of the park now i know why everybody was now i know why they sold one billion dollars worth last year on the consoles but the pc version is even better better graphics better more story more items oh yeah so they really up the scale to 4k 60 frames so for that guy who left the comment that oh the reason breakpoint looks all washed out because you need to change your contrast and your brightness and maybe you should get a pc that can play the game i'm like dude are you fucking crazy look at some go look at some of them that's why i said go look at my other videos of other games i play even ghost recon wildlands i said breakpoint's effed up dude it's not me everybody's complaining about the graphics in that game dude everybody man it doesn't have good graphics and it, you know the attention to detail sucks in that game and there is no fucking wildlife you know what i mean like you know that that game's got a lot a lot a lot a lot of work and it's never going to compare with this game ever ever this one's like on a whole different level this is more like like i said this is more like the assassin's creed odyssey as far as a close as you can get to the amount of equipment and stuff and interaction with the environment and wild animals and so but this one you gotta you gotta actually spot all of them see assassin's creed odyssey didn't really matter 
you know, you can just trip around and enjoy it. Here, you actually have to go seek out all the different frogs and the birds and the, you know, all the wildlife to fill up your little, you know, contendium. So, so it does matter here if you really want to do that. So, and everything matters. Like I said, you can see my health is, you know, as your health goes down, your guys gets all, see my core is all red. That's why he's all looking tired right now. So I need to go to like a restaurant in town here and eat a couple of big steak dinners and go take a bath and oh yeah, then I'll be feel better. But until I see you guys later, I got to get this video up. So, and I said every day I'm going to start doing a, we'll do a series here of like, you know, going out and looking for treasures and all that good stuff. I'll have to start a new character so I can refind all the treasures again for you. That I've already found, but that's cool. I just use that guy for my YouTube video type dude. Okay, so until I see you guys later, this is Dead Eye Dan. Hope to see you here on some online on the PC. And if not, then catch me on our Sunday stream here every Sunday on YouTube or during the week on Twitch. Okay, other than that, as always, ride high in the saddle. Don't shoot till they see the whites of their eyes and... Bios Candios, amigos and amigas.